production company. It's called 199 Productions in reference to his selection number in the NFL draft. Brady says he's teaming up with Avengers Endgame directors Joe and Anthony Russo for his first project, a documentary called Unseen Football. The quarterback's football career uncertain with a free agency coming up. But Brady says, quote, exciting times are ahead both on and off the field. A lost dog from Florida somehow found its way 1,500 miles from home. It's soon going to be reunited with its family. A woman in Michigan discovered the dog in her yard last week. She took the two-year-old pup named Simba to a local animal hospital, and they scanned his chip. The staff at the hospital was able to use the information on the chip to track down the dog's owners. The owners were very happy. He's been missing for two and a half months, so they're excited to get him back. The woman who found the dog is exploring her options for getting Simba back to his family in Miami, Florida. Meanwhile, it's a mystery how he got that far away so fast. Just wanted to see the world. Apparently, six weeks and 1,400 miles. As long as he's got some food, he's in good shape. Speaking of food, in good shape. They've always got it at SA Live. Oh, Ooh. yes. And of course, we are gearing up for SA Flavor, the culinary competition. Yes, indeed. And Chef PJ Edwards, owner of Meadow Neighborhood Eatery, is here. And he's one of the competitors. But you're making some grits. And what's the secret to making the perfect grits? So we like to use a stone ground grit. So you're going to have a coarser grain, not your instant grits. It takes a little bit longer to cook, but lots of good texture to it. Um, cook them down really slow and just milk over water. And then uh, we'll add a little butter to it, a little bit of lemon juice and some of our house hot sauce. And that's your base, and then you go from there. We're gonna be making, we're actually gonna be competing yeah. here. All right. You're gonna be doing one kind, I'll be doing another. You'll yes, probably indeed. win. <laughs> All right, and how about some quick and fun ways to make your home feel like spring? Spring into some style. The Crafty D Home DIY is here to do, with some adorable ways to do just that. And great for the kids to do as well. Hey. How about, you know, spring is here, why not go on, go on a little picnic? And instead of, you know, doing all the cooking and packing, mm. head over to Bird Bakery. All of their great sweets and sandwiches and chicken salad, egg salad, all that kind of good stuff. Perfect for a nice little picnic. What yes. would you take on a picnic? If you ah, if I, I take on a picnic, um, well, um, probably some wine. A bottle of wine, yeah, a loaf of bread that, and dal. Yes! There you go. That, we Great minds that, think alike. What would you take on a picnic? Let us know at SA Live KSAT, and you might see your answer on our show in just a few minutes. Gotta have cold fried chicken. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Spring break is upon us, and if you're here at home, there are a lot of places to go and events to attend. The San Antonio Museum of Art has free general admission for Bear County residents from 4 to 9 tonight, 10 to noon this Sunday. The museum has activities planned for kids every day this week. For more information about what you can do around the Alamo City this week, you can go to ksat.com. You know, the zoo's hopping, too. They got that new kangaroo exhibit out there. It looked like fun yeah. this morning. Uh, it's 73 right now. A uh, humid 73 degrees. We'll be up, up close to 80 this afternoon. 83 tomorrow, 82 on Thursday. Rain chances come back into the forecast. Probably peak a little bit as we get into Saturday and Sunday. Still, it's scattered. It's not a complete washout. Uh, but just know some rain will be around by the weekend. Here and there, a couple places. Yeah. All right. And warm. Bad hair days Ooh. ahead uh -oh. <laughs> all week. Yeah, but the grits look good. Ooh, you know, shrimp and grits. Yeah, sounds like a good deal. Mm -hmm. and a little arts and crafts. Yeah. A little essay live. It starts right now. Summer camps and preschools are coming up fast. We're trying these fun and educational options to help your child get to the top of the class. And wine and dine for the rest of your spring break. Find out where you can get a five-course meal and a wine pairing for each meal without breaking the bank. Plus, Boogie on Over the They say that home singer Isaac Jacob gives us a performance to remember. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy terrific Tuesday. Look at that. We are gearing you up, of course, but we are in the middle of 
spring break right now. Yes, we are. We've got you covered. Spring break mm -hmm. means food, too. Yes, Everyone. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterage. Everyone is making spring break plans, and you can continue the fun with a good old culinary competition. <laughs> yes, SA Flavor is going on next week, and Chef PJ Edwards, owner of Meadow Neighborhood Eatery, is here to represent not only himself, but the event, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How are you? It's good to see you. I'm great. Good You've to been see on you. In a while. So, in the spirit of competition, mm -hmm. We are going to be competing. You're going to be the referee, the judge, the jury, and everything else. All right. <laughs> and we're doing shrimp and grits, right? That's right. So in the South, there's tons of different styles of shrimp and grits. Everywhere you go is different. So you guys have all these ingredients here okay. from bacon to jalapenos to onions and cream. So go for it. Make your own shrimp and grits. Okay. Okay. I'll and the nice thing about flour. this is because, of course, Fiona's not a... Uh, seafood eater, you can do a vegetarian version of it too, right? That's right. I mean, you could you could put chicken in here. You can some put, butter. Um, Thank you. You can slice a piece Thank of you. steak and put it on top, or just go Ooh. vegetarian, just like Fiona's doing. Okay. Now, when you're doing this with shrimp, because I know it cooks really quickly, do I want to do other stuff first so I don't overcook the shrimp? You know, what do you think? We we cook the shrimp on one side at the restaurant first, and then we'll throw the rest of the stuff in and kind of let it finish with the. So pop this these babies in here. Yeah. Okay. Tell us about this culinary competition coming up here. So it's a really fun event. Um, the event starts with 35 different restaurants uh, from all over the city serving up a bite. Um, and then at the end of it, there's a culinary showdown where there's three local chefs and they get paired with three celebrities and three C, uh, culinary students. And we get a secret ingredient and we have to make a dish in 30 minutes. And you have no idea what it's gonna be? No. Not. Okay. <laughs> and so do you know what you're gonna be making? Uh, like, are we'll you? At our booth, right. we'll be your booth? shrimp and grits, okay. but the culinary showdown, I don't know. It depends. We right. have to think on right. the fly right. and right. figure it out. What would be the hardest thing that somebody could present to you and say, all right, <laughs> make a dish out of this? I feel like maybe like octopus or something. Yeah. 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 Something, you know, that takes a longer time. Yeah, that's than real handsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And how of how course, am I doing here? Wait, good. You're probably getting ready to flip these. You can see them starting to cook on that one side. All right, so I want to flip, flip them and go in with what you want. And then put the stuff okay. in, okay. Turn, turn your heat up. There we go. So we got garlic, peppers, mm -hmm. and um, cauliflower. Cauliflower, mm-hmm. Yeah. Letting that kind of go. Um, so Meadow Neighborhood Eatery, what do you serve? We're a uh, seasonal Texas Southern restaurant. So we like to use as much local product as possible. Um, our food is very Southern in its roots. And, you know, just have good old fashioned Texas hospitality as well. This is fun. I like this. Is that garlic? Yes. Yes. Ooh, yes. Some Here we garlic go. Yes. A little bit of garlic in there. <laughs> and when is the uh, the competition coming up? The it's next Thursday. Uh, it's held at the San Antonio Museum of Art, yeah. uh, and it benefits Culinario. And Culinario is a great program here in town. They uh, they donate a lot back to high school culinary schools and things like that. So, so if you were back in high school, what? Uh, or what would be your advice to somebody in high school right now if they want to get into the culinary business? I, I think start working in restaurants immediately. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're already going to school for it, you know, get, get a taste of the real world. Uh, a lot of times people will uh, go to culinary school and think that, you know, not, not really know the demands of working in a restaurant. Okay. So. Because it, it's not what you see you on TV, right? You want to be in right? the trenches, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you got to see what it's all about before you commit your life to it, for sure. Okay. How all are we right. doing? We, right. we, you think we're done? Should yeah. we plate them up here? Yeah, go for we it. Could. We've also got okay. some, some herbs up here, if you guys want to put that in there. Oh, there what we do, go. What do we have? Oh, There's uh, some parsley, cilantro, and a little tarragon. Um, ooh, I think a little tarragon. Maybe. I'll just go with what I can reach. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And all right. voila. I feel like, grits? Yes. And cauliflower and grits. It's hey. a nice touch with the extra broth there. Right, you, right, you right, right, the right, right. I, I like that with the coloring on there because you eat with your eyes and with all the uh, the red bell pepper in there. Right. Oh, Very there tricky. it goes. All right. Oh, <laughs> show off. What? Ned. Okay. No, no, Chef, what? Give it a, yes. give it a, give it a taste. Right. taste. Okay. And see who you like best. All right. Do we have a, like a competition drum roll or something hot. like that? Yeah. <laughs> Boom, I know. Boom, 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 boom. So That's what was good. in I yours? Mean, you had garlic. I had, had a little cream, a little cream butter, butter, garlic, mm -hmm. bacon. Mm -hmm. Some oh. of the four basic food groups here. All right, yeah. Shrimp and grits. Uh -huh. yeah. And you put in the cauliflower. cauliflower. Mm -hmm. This is much more traditional, right? Mm -hmm. you, okay. You get that. But this, I did kind of a vegetarian With the, with the peppers take. and the broth, almost has an Asian-y type flavor that I really enjoy. Yeah, and with I'm the from garlic. the Philippines. Look yeah. at that. I think you guys tied. Is Look that at that. <laughs> mm. Way to go.
Go team. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. right, one more time. Yes. Your restaurant is located? 555 West Bitters okay. in the alley on Bitters. There. All right. All right. And the event coming up next week. And if you'd like more information on SA Flavor or Meadow Neighborhood Eatery, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Pardon me before we go to this next story. Mm -hmm. mm. Are, you, are you still eating yours? <laughs> yeah. I'm watching my Okay. Guys. Well, now that we know how to make some really great grits, okay, we need to top it off with some dessert. Yes. And we went over to Bird Bakery because they've got some really Flew. good cupcakes. Flew over. Those. Flew over to Bird Bakery, <laughs> also to pack the perfect picnic basket. Take a look. Ooh, look at all these goodies. Hey, when was the last time you saw one of these? It is a classic picnic basket. When was the last time you went on a picnic? You know, spring is basically in the air right now, but then you gotta do all that cooking and packing and all that stuff. Let's see what Elizabeth Chambers from Bird Bakery has packed for. So this is the perfect way to go on a picnic. Just have y'all do all the, the cooking, right? Forget the cooking. Let us do the work. You enjoy the blue bonnet. What did you pack here? It's not a picnic without a pint right. of something. And right? you got them all. Oh, we have them all. We have our delicious egg salad, which, which is, is incredible. Good. Has toasted sunflower seeds in it. Ooh. We have our very famous and beloved chicken salad, tarragon chicken salad, and our pimento cheese. Of course, what is a picnic without pimento cheese? Our pimento comes in a pint, half pint, or in a sandwich. What's better though, on a sandwich or just put it on crackers? Because that's I mean, almost kind of listen, you know. Just give me a spoon and pic a, yes. Picnicky, and yes. then you you know feed your loved one the cracker. Yes. And, um, yes. And, yes. and lastly, we have our egg salad, which is also delicious. People love, love, love our egg salad. So come, you can have crackers, you can have it in a sandwich, you can have it in any form. It's going to make the perfect picnic. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? So this is our tomato basil soup. It tastes like it's made with heavy cream, but it's actually dairy-free, gluten-free, and vegan. Yes, it's made with coconut milk. And it's oh, really? absolutely delicious. People think that it's super unhealthy. As far as I'm concerned, it's basically like a smoothie. Just a coconut milk smoothie. With tomato. Yes, exactly. Okay. It's delicious. Wonderful hot or cold. Speaking of unhealthy. Speaking of delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this is our sweetheart crunch. It mm -hmm. is absolutely wonderful. It's a mix of cereals and peanuts and M&Ms and pretzel sticks, all with our highest quality white chocolate. So it's coated in white chocolate. It's that sweet and salty mix that everybody loves. Who doesn't like a little bit of granola? Our Something granola is absolutely wonderful. So mostly granola is made with butter, which is very counterintuitive because I feel like people eat granola thinking it's going to be healthy. Yes. Ours is made with olive oil, maple oh. syrup, absolutely delicious. And you can actually buy it by the jar and have your jar refilled. So oh, you can. we're saving the environment as well as making people happy with granola. So again, if you want to plan out a picnic or just, hey, carry out, everything comes in pints. You can have the sandwiches already all wrapped absolutely. up and you can't forget about all the wonderful desserts because you got to have absolutely. some cupcakes and, and some lemon bars. Yes, and, and if you don't even want to have a full lemon bar, we can have all of our bars can be cut into quarters, which is delicious. You can see our brownies here, our fudgy mm. brownie and our walnut brownie. And even this, we have our half and half, which is our most popular drink here at Bird Bakery. Oh. Only Elizabeth Chambers packs the picnic basket with the glasses already <laughs> You know what? The, the we love a chic picnic at Bird. <laughs> so this is our lemonade. And, and they didn't spill it. She yep. was walking over here with it. And they won't spill on your picnic either. We have a special patent to technology. Um, we have our hibiscus tea with lemonade, which is our half and half. Oh, wait a minute. One last little prize in here. What, do we, what have we here? Is it a picnic without cookies? I think no. not. So we have our three best-selling cookies. We have our chocolate chip, mm -hmm. our famed monster cookie, which I know that you're familiar yes, with. Yes, And yes. our monster with chocolate chips, oats, M&Ms, and peanut butter. Our oatmeal cranberry. And our chocolate chip with walnuts. I'm sorry. Have it. A cookie sitting it. right in my, uh, you know. Yes. I mean. Have you ever had a better cookie in your life? No. Oats, chocolate chip, M&M's, and peanut butter are monster cookies to die for. And it's perfectly packaged for your picnic. You just have to supply the uh, the picnic basket, yes. the blanket, and a nice little spot maybe in the blue bonnet. So if you'd like more information on Bird Bakery, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Beautiful picnic. Thank you. Thank you. What a great you way to You look pack. like the happiest person ever with the monster cookie. Those monster cookies are fantastic. I know, I know you love those. The problem with them <laughs> is not eating the whole thing mm -hmm. after you've had the chicken salad. Right. But that's a great idea because you can get all in pints and then pack a perfect little right. uh, picnic with See, it. So, so would that be something you'd bring the monster cookie to your picnic? Because we yes. want to know what, what one food you have to have at a picnic. Um, now, the, the sandwiches, the right. chicken salad like that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love cold fried chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a cold fried chicken leg. Mm -hmm. What would you take? 
Oh, I like just the classic sandwich, you know, like a really good ham and cheese, but toasted, Ooh. you know, because yeah. even cold, that's still good, you know? I do, I like it, okay. So oh, let us know yeah. at SI Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those comments later on in the show. And of course, the bottle of wine, the loaf of bread, and the... Oh, well, that goes without saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, still ahead on SA Live. Summer's coming up fast, so keep up with your little ones. Find out about a great summer camp for kids right here in town. And next, are you looking for a quick and fun way to make your house feel more like spring? We have DIY crafts that will brighten up your home. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we are, of course, heading into spring right now, and you might want to be kind of spicing up your home a little bit, just something to freshen it up. Yes, and Megan Schaefer from the Crafty Home DIY has a few adorable ways to, to do just that. Thank you so much for being here. Wow. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. I love spring. I love spring crafts because I like the bright, happy. Um, today we're going to make these great um, little door hangers. They're little carrots, and they're super simple. Um, the best thing about doing crafts is that you can totally um, customize things and do things the way that you want. So I'm going to have you guys actually come and help do some of these crafts today okay. and make your own door hanger. And the nice thing about it is you have used this special kind of tape and just laid it across there to make little stripes, right? Yeah. So in, what we do in our shop is we do all the hard work for you. We cut all the stencils. We get everything prepared for you. So you can take and just craft yourself. You're going to take the little sponges, mm -hmm. dip it in the paint, and as long as you stay um, off like on the blue part, you're good. Yep, okay. and just dab it straight up and down. You'll get nice crisp lines. And it, we take the hard out so you can just come and have fun and craft and be creative. Because you host parties also, right? People, yeah. can, we do people all, can party with you. They can, <laughs> we can party. We do girls night out, uh -huh. we do going aways, we do um, bachelorette, bridal showers baby showers, um, and we also just have fun nights that you can just sign up as a couple and come do a great date night. Oh, really? Just Yeah, to... we do. We have a lot of men come in. They like to craft. We have power tools. Oh, you do? <laughs> what? We do. What we do have, they make? Um, some of our boxes that you can build and paint yourself, and uh, we have lots of signs about um, doing some barbecuing, and we try to do a little something for everyone. Oh, okay. But, and then when you're done, you're going to just take off all the blue stencil. Okay. And I am fascinated, I asked about this before, this tape, because you know everybody uses painter's tape before, but this is extra special. Yes, tape, this right? is actually a stencil vinyl, so you get nice crisp lines. It helps keep everything from bleeding. Look at those, you look great. I, I, just I'm, all of it just comes off. I was gonna say, look at how crisp and clean the lines are, whoops. Oh, well, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> oh, oh, man. But with this, and it just, like you said, it feels it off nice and easy, right? yeah. like that. That's okay. right, and it makes it easy. like. Um, so you can not have to worry about being um, talented, I want to say, or if you're not very artistic. I get a lot of that. I'm not very artistic. Right. We take care of that for you. Don't worry. You will keep them within the lines, and you will have straight lines. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we want something that you take home that you're proud of and that you will want to display in your home for a while. Now, these kind of decorations, do they go with any kind of decor? That's the beauty of doing DIY, is that you can actually customize it to the color you want. So if you are not into green and white and orange, you want something really super modern, you can do a black and white bunny, um, carrot and customize it to if you're modern or farmhouse or whatever colors you have in your home. If you're love green, love blue. I have a lady who does all her signs in green. So <laughs> now instead of me coming in and going, well, I've got this mm -hmm. and this and this, I could just snap a couple of pictures and then go, here's what I look like. And you can go, hey, why not do a little right. succulent garden and put it right here or something, right? Yeah, our succulent gardens are one of our favorite things to do in the workshop. We have one coming up on the 28th. And you get to build your box, paint it the color you want. And then we help you plant it. We teach you how to take care of the plants. And so you can take it and it will last for years. Just take care of it. Succulents don't like to be watered. And this is your own, This is right? my own. I've done um, about a year and a half, almost two years ago. And I've had it, I just water it once a month and kind of forget about it. I love that about succulents. All right, so, so we're gonna glue your bow on. Oh, okay. So give me a little bit of hot glue. And also while you're doing that, the Easter eggs, there were the eggs, you yep. said that uh, that's great to do with some of the kids and you have you an do. Easter egg home with those. Yes, you do. We have these, these are gonna be available on the 21st. You can come in, it's a great kid friendly event. 
We use stencils on them and you can paint um, any designs that you like and super easy. Kids can do them. You can paint a bunch of different ones, hide them around the house. Oops, a little more glue. A little, little more hot glue. <laughs> yeah, 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 you just that. need a little All right. more. You need okay. A all right, and if uh, somebody wants to come by and take one of the classes or something, do a little Just sign up crappy. online, www.thecraftyhomediy.com. And where are you located? We're located on the corner of Tezel and Gilbo, um, right up in the northwest side of town, close to 1604 in Gilbo. Okay. okay. Well, Thank if you'd like you more so information on the Crafty Home DIY, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank I'm you so much. hold it down a little bit longer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Still ahead, five courses, many wine choices. Whether you are looking for a nice date night or a family dinner, this could be a great end to your spring break week. And next, spring is flying by. So start thinking about summer and even the start of next, really next year already. We're about to show you a great way for your kids to have fun while learning. Well, the museum is still in the midst of celebrating its fifth year, and here we are in the trolley, made for yes. little ones. And <laughs> Sheena Solitaire is going to tell us all about all the great things that's going on here at the museum. Yes, this week for spring break, we've got a ton going on. Um, all of our daily programming, so story times. We just reopened our Spy Academy, so that's super fun, a new way to play with your kids in there. And then, of course, on the weekends, we have our art studio program programming and just really great activities to do all spring break long. And Little Doers, mm -hmm. what's that all about? Little Doers is our really special preschool program here at the Duseum. We run September through May and we're currently enrolling for next school year. Okay. So these kiddos actually go to school in the Duseum. So imagine if every day was a field trip. Which then you said the field trip then breaks off into like three different field trips yeah. during the day. So they have a classroom here on site. and. You know, they're in there doing play-based um, projects some of the time, but most of the time they're actually exploring our different galleries. So today we're here in Little Town, um, but they'll go all over the museum. They really get to be hands-on with all the exhibits every day of school. Yes, I mean, you can't beat that. That's a, yeah, that's <laughs> a, it's like so much fun. And some of the, I know there's the, the sound, there's the Spy Academy. Mm -hmm. um, we're here in We've Little got Town. the little HEB, um, little construction site, basically where the little kids get to pretend to be, you know, big kids, essentially grown-ups. And this is their town where they get to play and make their own rules. So many times during spring break, and I know the classes are pretty much full and almost over, but, you know, it's like, okay, what can I do with the kids, you know, if you're not this is a perfect spot just to, to come in. Absolutely. You can spend hours here with your kids and just let your kids kind of direct the experience. You know, as a parent, they're going to gravitate to what they're interested in, and then you get to play with them. You get to be a kid, too, which is really fun. That's fantastic. <laughs> and for summer, with some of the camps there, you're already start, starting to sign up now, right? Yes. Summer camp enrollment is all online. We have camps for children as young as three years old all the way up to 11. Um, all of our camps are created by educators and taught by educators so we have different things from curriculums on art or literacy and then of course a lot of stem math science real hands-on stuff and then we keep it fun by um, having lots of hands-on projects and then spending lots of time in the museum as well so all of that um, you can register for online and it's kind of fun because you you sneak in all that education and they don't really think they're learning but they are oh, it's yeah. all museum and it's all oh yeah it's all play-based so the kids are just playing but they don't need to know that everything they're doing is really rooted in math science technology arts literacy um, for them they're just having fun this sounds like a great time mm -hmm. okay and the hours here at the museum uh, for spring break we are open extended hours so open at 9 o'clock and close at 6 p.m. and all online all online <laughs> and speaking of online the website is the museum.org okay all right well thank you very much sounds like a lot of fun here they say that home is where the heart is and girl the saddest part is. Still ahead, we are grooving and moving today. Jam out as we hear a local country artist perform. And next, from appetizers to desserts, learn about which wines fare best with different meals. We have Little Italy here to give us the inside scoop.
Welcome back to SA Live. As everyone is out traveling for spring break, we thought we would take a trip too. Yep, that's right. We have the manager of Little Italy Restaurant here, the Little Italy Restaurant and Pizzeria, I should say, Marisa Visacaro, to take us on a culinary trip. Visacaro! Visacaro! You have to have it with that Italian accent. Visacaro! So, yes. this is a little preview of what is going to be coming up, and you're competing in rights. Right. So, we are doing a Spanish wine dinner um, March 24th, 5 30. Um, and we're pairing our Spanish wines with a um, five course meal um, and just to get people um, excited about some summer dishes and something more light and um, some Spanish wine since Fiesta is about okay. to happen. So, so, we're so you're going to do it, yes, okay. so a little bit of Milan with prosciutto. Which is a classic, mm -hmm. classic right. dish. Right, and I did bring some... Where are we? Here we go. Oh. It's, it's okay. Here oh, we go. There we go. Just grab it and then you just want to just wrap it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those great things to eat in the summertime because it is so cool, it is so refreshing yes, and light. it is very, very refreshing and light. And then you do a little bit of bread and some wine and some olives and some cheese. olives and you just call it a day so we have a little bit of provolone we have um some romano pecorino romano and we also have uh, mozzarella fresh mozzarella so I'm what wine would kind of go with what we have so here this, this and this so what we are going to pair the mm -hmm. prosciutto malone would be with a white um allegrini it's a little tough. Um, it's a white, uh, very light um, Spanish wine. Okay. And then this. I was going to say that you, dish. Are you trying to say something? What? No, I'm, I'm throwing my mouth full. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive okay. you. And then so what's in this? Okay, so this is a torta de papas, which okay. is also a Spanish dish. Uh, it's going to have mantego cheese. Um, eggs and potatoes. So it's also a light dish. So it's kind of like a frittata almost, right? Yes, it is. It's going to be a little bit like a frittata. And then what wine would we pair with this? So this is going to be the Grenache, which I'm going to give you a sample of. I know you guys are working, but it's okay for you to drink, right? Well, it, it's kind of reporter involvement here. <laughs> so I want you to pair thing. this wine with the um, torta. Okay. The cheese is what is going to um, cut the acidity of the wine. It's just a real uh, medium based wine, um, but the, the two flavors of the potatoes and the eggs and the cheese go so great together. This wow. is it really, it really good. does. This is delicious with mm -hmm. the because it's it's very. Um, there's nothing overly spicy or anything like that. Right. But, oh, it's just and it's the, such a delicate and flavor. And the Grenache is, is a very medium light wine, so it's not overpowering any of the cheese that's in the uh, dish. Mm. It's really good stuff. Wine, mm. And also the cheese, olives bread. will be um, plated with the, with, so you're going to get a little bit of all that flavor. Um, with the the Malone and the so the what are what are some of the other other courses that yeah. you're going to be serving? We're going to also have um, pulpo with alfre with I'm sorry with a hot and spicy fadablo sauce, mm -hmm. and we also are going to be featuring the um, fruta de mare, which is clams and shrimp on a bed of risotto. Ooh, that sounds good. Delicious. And you oh heavens to Betsy, look and at so that. So where are you located? We are in 824 mm -hmm. Afterglow um, on West Avenue, Blanco Road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and again, the uh, tasting is coming up on the 20th. March 24th. Mm -hmm. Two weeks two from tonight. Two weeks from today. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, if you'd like more information on Little Italy Restaurant and Pizzeria, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead. <laughs> So ahead, healthy eating to get ready for spring. Metro Health's Corvida program is highlighting farm table and we're gonna see what kind of good eats they have in store. Next, sit back and enjoy the sounds of this local country music artist. He'll be performing some of his songs ahead of his concert at the Lonesome Rose. So stay with us. That moment that I lost you.
Welcome back, everyone. Well, today's sound session features Isaac Jacob. Yes, born and raised in South Texas, Isaac's latest single is making a mark in Texas radio's uh, top 50, regional radio's top 50. Yep, and you can see him at the Lonesome Rose on March 20th, and here to perform his newest single, Home is on the Dance Floor, is the Isaac Jacob Band. SA Live, it's feeding time. Two local moms jump into a into an ABC Shark Tank for their chance at a life-changing deal. You're getting the first look at their product before we see it nationwide. Plus, meet a Sea World celebrity. We learn about this cute, cuddly otter and see what mischief he gets into. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Are you looking to find some healthier options? I have Jonathan here with San Antonio Metro Health to help us because you have a new program and it helps people find these healthier restaurants in town. Please tell me about this. Yes, yeah, so our Puerto Vida program, it promotes restaurants and businesses that offer healthy menu items to the community and employees. Why is this so important to Metro um, So uh, to, it's important to us because we believe in the health of the community. So we want to be able to help and assist them in making it easy to choose a healthy meal by looking at our Puerto Vida logo and the 
can find that on our website as well. So as a mother of two and a wife, I know that it's hard for us to try to find those healthier options. So what are some of the qualifications for these restaurants? How do you select them? So in order for them to participate, they have to have great sanitation scores and all we have to do is just identify one menu item on their menu. Uh, it contributes to calories, uh, saturated fats, sugars, and sodiums. Okay, so you do all that work and then you narrow them down for people pretty Correct. much, I have, right? the, uh, I have my, uh, the registered dietitian that assists us with that. Okay, so the checklist is done and then you just get to eat. So sh shall we? Should we check yes. out our first restaurant? Let's go. Okay. Elizabeth, the owner here at Farm Table. Wow, so colorful, and I just love this place already. And right there near the Tobin Center. Right across the street. Well, what makes this place, besides I can see all the color, I know color is good when it comes to being healthy, but why are you so passionate about serving healthy meals? Well, when I, when I founded Farm Table, my whole purpose was to heal people with food and to do so in a way that supports our local farmers, our local economy. And so everything that we do here is anti-inflammatory. You know, that's a buzzword in today's health world because they've actually linked all disease to chronic inflammation in the body. So my thought was, how do I make food taste great, look great, and then make it awesome for your body. So that's what Farm Table does. I feel like this is something I've never <laughs> seen. It's like art right here. Anything else that you'd like to add about just being healthy, especially here in San Antonio? Well, I think that if anyone needs healthy restaurants, it's San Antonio. And we've got such a rich history. You know, we're now a city of gastronomy. And one of the responsibilities that we now have as a city of gastronomy is to use food and culture as a driver for sustainable economic development. And so I say you don't have to go without. You can have your tacos, you can have your beans and rice, uh -huh. you can have your chicken, your pork, your amazing salad, mm -hmm. and it can taste great and it can make you feel great. And there's avocado, by the way. That's not just chocolate pudding sitting there. there this is made with avocado? That is made with avocado. So we make a chocolate pudding 100% with avocado, and it is delicious. And that's one way this mom likes to sneak in <laughs> for the goods for my little one, so I'm gonna have to steal that tip. Anything else you'd like to add about Farm Table? You know, we are open seven days a week. We offer brunch three days a week, su Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and we'll be opening up for dinner soon. Awesome, okay. And how exciting to be on this list for the Por Vida program. So where can people find more information? Well, if you go to the Por Vida website, mm -hmm. you're gonna see a list of participating restaurants. You can click on our restaurant farm table and you can see all the dishes on our menu that are Por Vida approved. For more information on Metro Health's Por Vida SA program, visit their website, porvidasa.com, or give them a call at 210-207-6030. Well, we have a big show coming up on Friday. Yes, indeed, we are heading to the Texas coast, but way, way down south. The shores of South Padre Island. Yes, and there was so much to do there. We had so much fun. We ran into some pirates. Yes, we uh -huh. did. All of the great restaurants and rode horses on the beach. Yes, okay, and of course, yes, we made even um, some sand castles and some sand castle, or sand art. Sand art. Right, yeah. right, right. And Jen yep, got to hang go. out with uh, some of the turtles there, mm -hmm. and as they released some of the turtles back into the water after nursing them back to health, and there's some of the uh, sand sculptures that mm -hmm. we did. You're gonna have to tune in to find out what that shaped up to be. That's Friday at one. <laughs> What's the one food you have to have on a picnic? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Lisa Ann here is on your island, Mike. She wants fried chicken and apple pie. Yes, grapes. Oh, yes, delicious. Easy to pack and store. Nice romantic food. You peel a grape for your loved one. Yes, with, with, with you know, kind of a little fan. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jacob says, I like to take a nice uh, by picnic, a nice picnic right on the mission trails plenty with plenty of fruits and iced tea. Stay cool as S.A. As a lie, a lie. Can't, can't. I, I'm not quite sure. But yes, we get it. That, that's a very romantic setting. So fried chicken, grapes, pie, a bottle of wine, a loaf of. <laughs> <laughs> we have got uh, somebody from locally is going to be on ABC Shark Tank, and they're going to be on the show tomorrow before it airs. We're going to see. Maybe we should buy in. Right? That's when you get in on the That's ground gonna, floor, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna meet a SeaWorld celebrity. We learn about a cute and cuddly otter named Buddy, the otter who stars in one of the shows there. But right now, we're gonna hear more from the Isaac Jacob Band. Have a fantastic Tuesday, everybody.